the Close Watcher API enables a consistent experience when handling close requests. Easily implement an accordion pattern using the details element. Permission policy violation reports are now available. And there's plenty more. I'm Adriana Jara. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 120. An important feature of modal or pop-up components is that they are easy to close with a consistent mechanism for doing so. Those mechanisms are called close requests. They are typically the escape key on desktop platforms and the back gesture or button on Android. Web developers had no good way to handle close requests for their own components. This is especially problematic on Android devices, where providing the simple closing behavior for the back gesture was quite complex. This conversion brings the solution with Close Watcher, a new API for directly listening and responding to close requests. You can see an example on the screen. It also includes upgrades to Dialog and Popover to use the new Close Request framework so that they respond to the Android back button. Check out the article in the description for the link to the code sample to try out Close Watcher in your custom elements. The name attribute for the details element makes it easy to implement the accordion pattern using a sequence of details HTML elements. Multiple details elements that have the same name form a group. With this setup, at most one element in that group can be opened at once. You can see it in action with the example on the screen where a group of details shares the name cookies. Check the link in the description for this easy implementation of the accordion pattern. Permissions policy violation reports are now available. These reports integrate the permissions policy API that allows developers to control the browser features available to a page, its iframes, and sub resources by declaring a set of policies for the browser to enforce with the reporting API which provides a generic reporting mechanism for web applications to use and make reports available based on several platform features. This permissions policy API and reporting API integration allows web developers to configure endpoints to which permissions policy violation reports will be sent, allowing site owners to see when these allowed features are being requested for their pages in the field. The link in the description includes the documentation to implement permissions policy violation reports. And of course, there's plenty more. The relaxed CSS nested implementation allows nested style rules to begin with an element, rather than require the ampersand symbol in front or being wrapped with is. With the enter picture in picture action in the media session API, Websites can register an action handler, which can be used to open a picture-in-picture -picture or document picture-in-picture -picture window. And a reminder that Chrome is working towards deprecating third-party cookies. And there's going to be an experiment that could affect your website starting in January. So it's important that you check the article in the description for more information on auditing and mitigating steps. All the details, including links, Docs and specs are in the post linked in the description. Hit the subscribe button now so that you don't miss the latest Chrome DevTools video, GUI challenges, and more. Yo soy Adriana Jara. Our team wishes you happy holidays. And as soon as Chrome 121 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.